And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to DFW Real Estate. We've got a studio full of goodies for you today. We've got some pseudoscience coming your way with a partial meteorology degree from uh, not Dr. Wyatt. We've got PMR Roofing in studio with us. We're going to talk about the interesting parts of roofing. We're going to protect you and your family. We've got the English wonder himself, Yanni Donnie, mostly in studio. He's injured, folks, so cut him some slack. Thumb got worse. I'm in a cast. He was he was hooping. It was like white men can't jump out there. Hoop dreams. Three minutes. It was it was <laughs> it was intense. And we will not tell you that whole story, but we will. We might see that a little bit. We got full price Courtney in studio too, but honestly, I don't know if there's enough microphones to go around. Woo! So we'll there. She, she will find She's a way. Loud. She will find a way to make it into the show. What? Little John loves it. All right, here's what we got, folks. We are going to get to a full state of the market later in the show. We're going to let you know what the heck is going on. Uh, we might have some YouTube commentary going on. We got questions from the social media stuffs. Uh, we got a lot to cover, but we want your questions as well. Call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. All day, every day, you can go online just like my son says. ToddTremontiTeam.com. ToddTremontiTeam.com. And look, if all that fails, just get as close as you can in the old Google box. Just try to spell my name, Todd Tremonti. You'll find us. You can call any phone number, fill out any form, click any link, and we will connect with you however you would like to connect with us. Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, uh, helping you make sense of what's going on in the real estate market all day, every day. You can also check out the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. Dallas Fort Worth Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. It's a very long name, so it's easy for you to find wherever you're searching, whether that's Apple, Spotify, or whatever. Dallas Fort Worth Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. All right, connect with us however you like. We'd love to connect with you. We are here to lead you, guide you, advocate for you, and help you make sense of all the shenanigans and all the confusing information out there about what it means to buy, sell, rent, invest in, or by the way, just enjoy your home. Regardless of where you live or how you're living there, buying, renting, apartment, condo, townhome, single family, multifamily, we wanna be a resource to you. That way, if we bump into you in the grocery store or out at a concert, you would be glad you saw us. We'd be glad we saw you and we would have added some value to your life. So we're going to jump in in just one minute with our buddy Jordan Collins from PMR Roofing. And listen, gear up, lean in, because not Dr. Wyatt is also here without a full meteorology degree, but he's got a little bit of meteorology training and we're going to put him to the test and see what you need to know, not only to protect your roof, but your whole house and all the things that are inside your roof, inside your house and under your roof. We'll do that here in just a minute. But this first segment brought to you by Patrick Glorus and his team over at Cardinal Financial. If you are looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, make sure you go to patrickglarus.com. You can start an application right there on the website. You can call him at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308. 804 Patrick Glaros.com. So quick on the NMLS. Just brilliantly done. What's the website for PMR Roofing? Go. PMRRoofing.com. He says it with such confidence, Jordan. God, it just feels good when he says it. Welcome playing, to the show. Playing tough, Todd. Jordan Collins from PMR Roofing, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up? Not, oh. not a lot. How are you? He's doing, also Todd? running the board, y'all. Yeah. Look, radio veteran. He's, he's looking at me like, don't ask me a question when my mic's not on. Doing well. Thanks for having me again. Uh, it's good to be with you guys. I'm looking forward to uh, talking roofs and weather and uh, all those things, real estate today. All right. Let's be really honest right out of the gate. A lot of people here, we're going to talk about roofs and that's not super exciting to them. Why would it be important or exciting or interesting for people to hear a little bit about roofing? What? Why does this matter? And speak for yourself, Todd. I love a good roof. I'm thrilled Thank that you. you do. That's why yeah, you're welcome. here. Thank you. Yes, so it is not the most attractive, uh, exciting thing to talk about. But uh, the reason why it's so important is uh, two things. One, the reason or where we live yep. by the nature of the type of weather and the chaotic uh, nature of it, especially this time of year. The second reason is because everything that is important to you or mm -hmm. the majority of things that are important to you uh, as a homeowner 
are below that roof. Okay. And, let's uh, let's put it to the test really quick. Sure. Television. Below the roof. Uh, family. Below the roof. Vehicles. Below the garage roof. Important documents. You know storage unit. What, you, what, el- what else what else what else when people's roofs are wrecked, what do they get super a- angry and sad about that gets ruined in their house? Hardwood floors. Mm. That's under the roof. Hand scraped, expensive hardwood floors, sheetrock. Under the roof. Air conditioning units. Under the roof. Thank you. Appreciate you confirming all that. Um all right. So basically your roof covers all your important stuff. It covers where you live. When it gets really bad, you don't even get to live there anymore. You get to go live in a hotel or a rental house. All right. So roofs are important. We've established that. Just want to confirm that with not Dr. Wyatt. Is that all line up? Yes, roofs are important. Okay, got it. Um all right. You mentioned where we live, that it's kind of more maybe even more important to us where we live. Specifically, what do you mean by that? So we have a wide variety of weather. As you know, we've got hail, we've got strong winds, we've got tornadic activity, we've got uh, thunderstorms, we occasionally have freezes and snow. We have one of, if not the most diverse uh, set of weather, weather patterns, especially this time of year in the country. And so that's why this area is kind of considered uh, the hail center. We get more hail yeah. than anywhere else. And because of that, we get a lot more roofing companies in some parts of the year. Talk about that a little yeah, bit. That's, that's an understatement, Todd. We get <laughs> um, lots and lots of roofs. So roof, there's no licensing requirements in the state of Texas for roofers. So anybody with a truck and a ladder can be a roofer, uh, which is scary. Um, we have, anytime there's a hailstorm, they come from all over the country yep. and they come in and they uh, want to scoop up as much work as possible mm-hmm. uh, in the sh- most short amount of time yep. and then go back to either where they came from or to the next hailstorm somewhere else. If you ever have an issue, uh, they're back in Colorado or they're back in you right. know, wherever they are. And so it's really difficult. And uh, typically the warranties aren't as good. The construction is not as good. So uh, it's something that we deal with. I mean, they come in droves and you're right. You'll get lots of people knocking on your door. Yeah. So in my experience, uh, you know, as a real estate broker, we want to do everything we can to help advise and protect our clients. So I've always told people the obvious thing is when a guy's got a Louisiana license plate and a Dallas phone number on a magnet on the side of the truck, that doesn't mean that couldn't be legit, but it's a pretty good sign that it might not be. And then to your point, it is a unique area. To some extent, even the way a roof might be laid or certain materials are different than the Colorado guy. So even if he's really well-intentioned, he's not a local expert. So I'm not saying that all these people are horrible criminal dirtbags. Some of them are, by the way, and, and some of them have been put behind bars. But more likely is that you have a hardworking, well-intentioned person that there's not a lot of business where they live, so they've come to chase some here, but they are not, I repeat, are not the right choice for you here locally. So what? Let, let's, let me ask you the obvious question, then we'll get into some more interesting stuff with not Dr. Wyatt and his not complete meteorology degree. But let's just say we had a bunch of hail last night and I wake up this morning knowing I need to make a phone call. What exactly should I do as a homeowner? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, question to ask. The the thing to do when that happens is to uh, first call somebody like us, like PMR Roofing, yep. and have our experts uh, meet out at the property, take a look at everything, get on the roof, determine uh, what damage there is, how much damage, what's covered by insurance, if all of it's covered by insurance, uh, and then and help advise you in that way. That would be the first phone call. Then uh, filing a claim with your insurance company, calling your insurance. I want to go back to what you had talked about the storm chasers real quick. The other thing that uh, is real important is that we have relationships here, people like yourself, yeah. where it's in my best interest to make sure Todd Tremonte's customers that he refers me to are taken care of mm-hmm. because we have those in place. We don't, if, if you're coming from out of town, none of that really matters. The and loyalty, so, the relational. Right, value. right. But yeah, that to answer your question, that would be the first Okay, um, let me let me jump in. That mm-hmm. sounds really self-serving. Let's be honest. You're like, well, step number one is call me. Why is that? I I agree. I've been telling people that forever. Be care- don't call your insurance agent immediately 
That doesn't mean you're hiding anything from them. That means before we do that, let's find out exactly what's happening up there. And the roofer that knows my roof, the roofer that knows my area, and especially an honest one, which is my favorite thing to tell people about PMR, is the first person that can help me understand what I'm dealing with, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's not only that, but make, like you had just mentioned, making the decision of whether or not this is a a claim worthy event. And so I'll start off with this. One of the most important things, you know, you talked about honesty is that, and it works out for us because I can't tell you how many people's roofs that I've gotten on and uh, my sales and project managers have gotten on that are minimal damage that right. that's not going to leak t- tomorrow. There's not going to be issues. It's insurance is not going to pay for it. Yeah. And I tell them like, here's, you know, we, you need a roof tune up and let's get that done for minimal expense. Because I know if I'm honest and upfront with them yeah. at the end of the day, it's not a matter of if it's when they'll have hail, yeah. we get the opportunity to do the work. I bet you sleep a little better at night, not lying to people about their roofs too. Let me tell you about DP Lambert over at Goosehead Insurance. If you uh, have not uh, checked out your home insurance, your auto insurance recently, give uh, DP a call. You can call him 214-838-5684. His team will look into everything for you. They'll shop uh, dozens and dozens of different uh, companies. They will try and save you as much money as possible. They saved me almost $2,000 last time uh, that they uh, did this for me. dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com is how you can reach out to him. You can go to toddtremoniteam.com where you can click the radio tab and find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. So if you don't have an honest insurance agent and an honest roofer, you're in pretty big trouble. So there's a couple of quick nods for you now. So step one, call a roofer that you trust. That's local. That's been around a little while. They can tell you exactly what you're dealing with. Then wisely decide if that's worth calling an insurance agent or, or a claims adjuster or whatever, because it may or may not be worth the cost, the kind of record keeping, uh, of filing a claim. So very quickly, can you talk a little bit about like a scenario where someone might file a claim when they shouldn't have? Yeah, we have pea size hail that comes in and it damages the soft metal, like your gutters, your downspouts, your vents. Um, but it doesn't, it wasn't big enough or strong enough to damage the shingle. So you end up having an insurance company adjuster come out and he pays, let's say $2,600 for new gutters, new downspouts, and new vents, but not a new roof. You've got a deductible, let's say, of $3,500. Right. It's a null point. You're not getting anything, but you are required to get the work done because if the next time it happens, they're not going to pay for it. And right. so um, the gutters are fully functional. They just have a little bit of pea size. And, That's and deductibles are going up or down. They're going up. Every, everybody, nobody wants to be uh, in this market because of the inconsistencies of uh, our weather patterns. And by nobody, you mean the insurance the companies insurance don't age, really yeah. want to in, in insure wind and hail type events because our area has either a ton of it or light amounts. It's a super fluctuate. They can't get their math right on how to make money as a company in our market, right? Right. It's an underwriting thing to where they can't. Uh, and so deductibles are going to two, sometimes 3% just let's, to hedge their bets. Let's do some quick math, not to be obnoxious, but just to help people understand this. If you have a 2% deductible on a $400,000 house, they're not paying anything until you you need more than $8,000 worth of work. And a lot of those roofs, I mean, that's right at the edge of complete replacement type stuff, right? Or at least in that range. So if you don't need that, now you're talking to a roofer like Jordan at PMR and saying, hey, what's the smart? How much do I need to do if I wanted to do a little bit more to be extra careful or, or make it look better or whatever? You tell me where those lines are. And I just don't know any roofers that do that more honestly and ethically and respectfully than PMR. And just like you were saying, you know, you're going to tell them the truth now and you know eventually they're going to get the big storm and they're going to call you because you treated them right the first time. So everyone wins in that scenario. But most roofers are like new real estate agents. They're just so hungry for the deal. They cannot be honest with you. They, they, they tell you what they want you to believe, which is that you need a whole new roof. We hear a lot about like 15 year roof, 30 year roof. Like when that goes on, let's say a 30 year roof goes on because there was big hail damage, right? But what happens if another storm rolls through and it gets damaged again? Like, is that 
does it have to get replaced again? Like how, I, I guess there's, I know people get confused at that. Like how often am I Simpler to question. What does that again? roof rating actually mean? How many years that, on a roof? It's a great question. I've had roofs that uh, somebody paid out of pocket because they just needed a new roof. And a month later, this was in Allen, Texas. A month later, a uh, big hailstorm came through and damaged that roof. Um, Hail rating has to do with or the 20 year, 30 year. It's more of a marketing term. By the nature of where we live, they don't typically last 20 year. They don't last 30 year. Uh, but it has to do with thickness of the shingle. The other thing to remember is that your insurance company owes you know, to replace with like kind. So if you've got a 30 year roof that was, uh, and there's, again, there's people in Frisco that I've replaced their, we've, PMRs replaced their roof three times. And just every three years, you know, hey, we got another. And so hail is going to take a little while before it uh, causes or the shingle has damage enough to where it's going to leak, but eventually it will. And so that's a great. So, so the newer ones that are thicker, they can probably take a little bit of sure, like absolutely. pounding before it needs to be. Replaced. Yes, okay. absolutely. And yeah. we'll advise you sometimes through that is wait till the end of hail season. There's no reason if you don't need to put a roof on right at the beginning of hail season, let's just get through it unless you got that like 2017 cannonball wiley hail or whatever year that was i didn't so what is the beginning of hail season beginning and end generally typically it's uh beginning of february and then end of uh maybe august but yeah. we've had hail in october we've had hail in december <laughs> but so. it's dallas yeah, so exactly. all right we're gonna go breaking news directly to our not dr wyatt with three semesters of meteorological study and we just need you to say something meteorology sounding. Give us a nugget. Before that, let me just tell you about Hope oh, oh, Radio really quickly. Uh, Christine over there, she's doing a great job making sure that all our clients are taken care of when it comes to their home warranty. It's helping them sleep easy at night, especially during that first year. Uh, they also take care of our sellers when we're getting ready to go on the market. And they're making sure that if something was to, to happen prior to it going in, under contract, it's going to get taken care of it. They do a great job. Go to homeserve.com where you can find out more information about the different home warranties that they offer, homeserve.com. All right, and back to Not Dr. Wyatt with something sounding meteorological. Well, y'all are asking about hail, and y'all are talking about hail a lot. Uh, as we all know, hail is formed because we in Texas have warm air. Warm air pushes the clouds. Clouds are made of water vapors, pushes the clouds up above the freezing line. That forms the hail. The hail then falls. Another fun fact about hail, most of the time they are able to track that hail is a, a possibility because somebody has actually seen hail. That's how they track hail the best way. Is not hail could be possible, but hail has been seen. I feel like you nailed it. There's so they track hail by seeing hail. Somebody saw hail. That's how the hail is tracked. Right. Carl in Weatherford sent in a picture. There's golf balls. My favorite is when they say there could be. That's when the meteorologists really get to flex their creative marketing skills. There could be bowling ball size hail. Like it's all. It's usually sports related, except for peas. Peas, quarters, softballs, baseballs, golf balls, tennis balls. I never actually heard bowling ball, but well, you got that is a terrifying thought. It yeah. is. Bowling ball size. So you have hail. to use something that is universally known. You can't use fist size because your fist is different than somebody else's fist well my bowling ball might be okay so here's the deal that sounded legit i i would argue that i think you did actually attend those classes now um yeah let's go back to the the professional roof roofer here real quick either that or google came in real handy what is what is the largest hail you've ever seen the largest hail i've ever seen in person or a or storm like the, in, the, in the effects of yeah yeah it was that wiley storm that you had mentioned there was um bigger than softball so almost kind of uh for lack of better well you go with fruits um melon Coconut, size yeah. cantaloupe size and so, not only that it was straight line winds that it was coming in at angles and what P insurance companies were paying for scuffed hardwood floors because it went through the decking. I didn't believe it. I had clients texting me photos. It, I mean, it literally looked like a uh, coconut, like bigger, it, bigger than a cantaloupe. I had like, a family's uh, family member's house got like hit with it and it was just holes all through the roof. I, I didn't believe it. They sent me a photo. I thought it was like a meme that they got. It, the, the hail went through, of course, the shingle and the underlayment and the plywood decking and the sheetrock and landed and broke their coffee glass coffee table in their dining room. 
talk about ter- that's like cannonball fire. Literally, we are under attack. Where do you go when that's happening? That informed a house. The house I'm building right now. We're building a re a, a tr- absurdly over engineered, reinforced safe room, storm room, tornado room, because. I li- they sent it to me and I, I did not believe it was true. It's not that they were not trustworthy people. It didn't compute in my mind that that kind of thing could fall from the sky right. here. It's like a biblical plague. Like that's bananas. Armageddon. So, so you you saw you guys worked on houses. You dealt with houses. It, I mean, that's just for the for the sheer like crazy factor of it. That's possible. So, how can people get a hold of you in the moment where they know someone's got to come look at this? Yeah, so we were we've done emergency repairs with those kind of things because unfortunately not only did did that crazy chaotic storm happen, hailstorm happen, but right after that rain. came rain. Yeah. And so uh people were not sure what to do. We will bring out and you can text me, you can call our office, uh but we will get to where we will mobilize our crews to do emergency tarping, emergency repairs. So I wake up it happened. I pick up the phone. What do I do? Yeah, you you call. What, what number us. you want me to call? Uh, you can call uh, my number. You can call 214-957-0839. You can also call our office, which is 469-409-ROOF, the word ROOF. And Clever. I know, Clever. I know. We're not- and if you forget any of that. Just go to TatramaniTeam.com, click on the radio tab, and all the PMR information, including the website, PMRRoofing.com, which is actually a very functional, super helpful website. Regardless of whether you call the office, call Jordan directly, or go to the website, just ask for Jordan. Tell them Tatramani sent you or the you know Tatramani team or whatever sent you. Uh, you guys are working with a bunch of our clients and friends and neighbors anyway. So call the roofing company I trust, and really quickly in like 20 seconds or less, Let's say a storm didn't come through, but I haven't really looked at my roof in a while. How often should I call you in that regard? Yeah, every two years is a good rule of thumb is to have your roof looked at. As a homeowner, you're not getting up on your roof. Uh, obviously, you're not checking to see. You know, I can get up there every day, and I don't know, I know what I'm looking could, for. So I still need you guys. Your, your wife would frown upon <laughs> that. Uh, the reason being is because a lot of times homeowners it's too late before you determine you find out that you have hail damage so you've got damage interior damage into your house and at that point uh, sometimes it's not covered by insurance it, am i is. right though that even if it's not hail maybe the heat just cracked the seal and now i don't know i'm getting a little bit of water i'm not going to know until a little bit of water adds up and then i had a lot of water and that that would have been a couple hundred bucks and now it's thousands and thousands and thousands right so right. obviously if you miss hail you could have a real problem but even if you miss little cracks, little leaks, little f- flashing problems, get them up on your roof at least every couple of years so you don't find out later that a little thing added up to a really, really big thing. PMRRoofing.com, 214-957-0839. I don't care how you call them. Just call them and tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. Hey, folks, after the break, we're going to be back with the state of the market. What's going on? We'll have our big butt segment. What is the media telling you that we want to tell you otherwise so that you can make wise choices for you and your family and your finances? It is a great time to buy real estate. It is an even better time to be selling real estate. We'll talk about all that and more right after the break. Check us out, TatramaniTeam.com. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back to DFW Real Estate, talking all things residential real estate across the mighty Metroplex. Find us on the podcast. If you can't catch us live or if you missed part of the show, you can catch the whole thing and also some bonus segments on the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, Dallas-Fort Worth Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast, check us out. Do all the things that you do with podcasts. What do you do? Subscribe, download, like, share, review, all that stuff. Reviews would be great right now. We're off to a pretty hot start on it. You guys have been asking us for years, hey, where can I catch the show when I miss it? And while we have a bunch of really good content on YouTube as well, we know that some of you just want to catch that audio while you're in the car or on a run or at the gym. So check out Dallas-Fort Worth Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. And by the way... Uh, While you're reviewing and liking and sharing and all those things, if you happen to catch us on YouTube, comment away. Let us know what you like, what topics you'd like to hear us cover. Believe it or not, that absolutely does inform uh, the schedules for the show. 
people will often say, hey, can you talk more about this? And within a week or two, we absolutely will. And then, of course, if you need that information right away to buy or sell or invest in a home, you can call us, 214-310-0008, or go to the website, just like my son says, ToddTremonteTeam.com. ToddTremonteTeam.com, and we will gladly uh, get you an immediate answer. We'll, you know, we'll get you taken care of right away. If you call 214-310-0008, you might, you might be directly connected to the soothing, soothing English tones of the Yanni Donny, the English wonder, the football obsessed, the man himself, Ian Daniels. By football, you mean actual football. I was trying to... Where you use a foot and a ball, I was right? communicating in a loving way and calling it football instead of soccer to encourage you. But if Appreciate you're going to be saucy about it, then we'll have to get back to calling it what it really is, which is a waste of time. Now, I love you all. Even if you like soccer, Sikkim Bears, Ghost Strohs, and all the rest of it, we're going to get into some real estate stuffs right now. Uh, before that, though, this first segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gloros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, Patrick's built a team to serve their clients, whether it's uh, to get a mortgage, to refinance. He's putting his team in a position to use their given, uh, God-given gifts and abilities. You can go to patrickgloros.com where you can find out more information. You can start an application right there on his website, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 30880. Four. Uh, let's get into kind of the state of the uh, state of the market. Let's begin with that, Todd. Uh, what are we seeing right now when it comes to uh, home buying? What are we seeing when it comes to selling? Maybe even a little investing opportunities in there. What have we got? Well, we are the the market's more logical in 2023 than it was in 2021, no doubt about it. And we've said that since 2022. Basically, um, if you are a seller and you're lazy, your your home's gonna have sell. It's gonna take a little bit longer to sell, and it's gonna sell for less. Period. End of story. If you are a seller and you have a great home, priced well, marketed aggressively, you're gonna get multiple offers right now. So there's a there's a lot more, uh, you know, there's a wider range of outcomes. Um, the other thing we said a lot in January and February is buyers and sellers are highly likely this year to get out of the market what they expect from the market. So people that are approaching the market as a bad market are tending to get bad market outcomes. People that are approaching the market as a great market are getting great market outcomes. And really the point in all of that is if you're prepared, if you're focused, if you know what you're looking for, if you're gathering a team of world-class professionals, whether that be real estate agent, lender, appraiser, title company, uh, handyman, contractor, all those kind of things, you are likely to sell high, buy low enough, and be really, really, really happy with your situation. If you're only reading the headlines and you have a part-time wannabe real estate agent, you're likely to sell low, buy high, and be absolutely furious with your outcome. And more likely than that is to sit on the fence and do nothing, even though you want to be making a move. And we're seeing a lot of that as well. So the state of the market is one of confusion. It's a lack of clarity. It's too much information. It's hard to make a choice. And our goal here at Dallas-Fort Worth Real Estate, DFW Real Estate Weekly, and certainly on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, is to be a voice of clarity, to help you gain more clarity, to fear less and uh, you know set bigger goals and go out and achieve that, whether that's to sell and buy, to buy your first home, or more of what we do is folks that own a nice house but for whatever reason, family size, schools, jobs, whatever, they're wanting, wanting to sell that nice home and buy an even nicer home. And right now, those clients are winning really, really big with our team, even though they come into it almost always a little bit fearful and nervous. Does that sound right? A lot of the people we're talking to? Yeah, no, it sounds, it sounds really accurate. Give or take, we've got five or six weeks before school's out for the summer. Ish. Yeah, somewhere right on there. What are some of the things folks should be thinking about if they're kind of saying, hey, I'm going to wait until school's out to sell a home or whatever that looks like. They've got a small window now yeah. to be able to prep for that, right? The window is always smaller than people think it is, right? So by the way, school starts earlier than it did for most of us when we were kids, right? It's, it's early to mid-August instead of late August to early September. So the answer is if you wait until your children are already out of school, or if you don't have kids, but you wait till everyone else's kids are out of school, then you're waiting till late May or June. And now it's going to take you 30 to 45 days to transact real estate if all goes generally well. So if you wait until late May or June, now you're talking about mid-July 
before anything could even happen. And all of a sudden you're three weeks away from school starting again. So I would not recommend that you wait until then at all. As a matter of fact, if you're wanting to make a move during the summer months, now is the ideal time. It's not late yet, but it is absolutely not early. Now is the right time. You want to be spending April and early May getting your ducks in a row, getting pre-approved for a loan, figuring out where you want to be. What's your, how are you going to get out of the home you're in, even if you're leasing, even if you're living with family, and how are you going to get into the home you want, and how are you going to provide some time in there for the inevitable, you know, we call it turbulence on our team, but if something pops up, oh, the, the, the person I'm, I'm buying from needs an extra week. Oh, the appraisal was delayed. Oh, there was rain, so the roof repairs couldn't get done that week, whatever the case is, right? So if you don't start very, very soon, you are not building in that margin. And right, as of right now, you're giving yourselves less than 30 days of flexibility. Now that's enough right now. But if you wait until school's out, now you're talking about one or two weeks, if not less. And if you wait until a lot of people do, which is in our heads, we like middle of summer, which would be middle of July. All of a sudden now, if everything goes perfectly, you may not make it into a new home before school starts. So I hope that answers the question. Yep. Republic Title, they are one of the leaders in the industry, one of the leaders in the title area. Republic Title, whether you are thinking about buying, selling, getting an investment property, check them out. Go to republictitle.com, see what they can offer, see what they can do for you. 972-423-8777, republictitle.com. They are just a joy to work with every single time we get to. And so many of our clients, so many of our team members, me personally, we have got to work with Republic Title. RepublicTitle.com. Now, we are broadcasting live from the Keen Landscaping Studios. And the reason I want to talk to you even more about that is because uh, it's that time of year. I've been telling you for a month and a half now to get your landscaping stuff done so you can enjoy it all spring, summer, and fall. This this is our moment in Dallas to be outside and enjoy it. Parts of the summer, it might draw you back inside a little bit, but spring and fall, for sure. If you have not done those things yet, now is the time. You want to go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. I just had them out. Uh, we did a little bit of warranty work. The freeze got us on a few things. Got that all knocked out. Now we're dialing the sprinklers back in and about to get some landscape lighting, not only kind of tweaked, but added on to. So design, consultation, landscaping, construction, maintenance, retaining walls, irrigation, lighting, tree work. Keen Landscaping also has North Texas trees. All of that is easily discovered online at keenlandscaping.com. That's K-E-A-N-E landscaping.com. If you forget any of that, just go to toddtremontiteam.com, click on the radio tab and all the pros and experts that we talk to here on the show and that we use all their information is there online right now. It's everybody's most anticipated segment coming up. Right now, oh talking, boy! I'm not talking about Middlesbrough. I'm not talking about Formula One. You're not even talking about sexy saxy, are you? Nope. We're talking about the Cockney rhyming slang oh, word of the yeah. week. Do you have any music yet, Cockney, for this? Oh, I've got something. Yet. I've got That's something for it. Here we go. I'm gonna say this one is on the. Uh, this is like on the Mount Rushmore of Cockney rhyming slang. Okay, it's up there. And now, to, to be easy. clear, to be clear, before you say it, last week's Cockney rhyming slang didn't rhyme. So for this one to be on the Mount Rushmore, will it at least rhyme? Yeah, it rhymes. Ready? We'll see. Here we go. Drum roll, please. A porky pie. A porky pie, a black eye. Just nope. ran randomly guessing. Porky pies. Porky pie. Uh, hold on. We have Jordan Collins from PMR any, Roofing with us. We're going to unmute Jordan? that microphone. It, now, here's the... I don't know if you know this. Cockney rhyming slang, in theory, it doesn't always work. But, Example, like a dog and bone. It's a phone. It what just a porky pie. It, it just rhymes with something. There's actually no other correlation whatsoever. It's absolutely useless in everyday life. But brilliant porky pie. What could that rhyme with? There's. I mean, if you get this right, there's no way. Sorry. Brought to you by P no. Brought to you by PMRRoofing.com. Jordan's guess incorrect. for porky Jordan. pie is forty five. Nope, it's a lie. Porky pie lie. No, that doesn't rhyme. It does. Pie, porky pie. Pie and lie do rhyme, but porky pie makes it less, it's as more a, cumbersome. As a kid, and this okay. one isn't yeah, even yeah. around. Please use it in context. This one isn't even around, like, just uh, down in London. Like, as a kid, like, you're accused of telling porkies all the time. Okay. And it's that's you accusing them of You've telling a lie. You've told a porky. You've told them so it's now, a porky pie. To be clear, though, I, we have to revisit this. 
Also delicious food, by the so way. So in, in, in common use, you literally dropped the only part that does rhyme. Right, yeah. Because pie rhymes with lie, porky pies lie, but you get accused of telling a porky. Yeah. Jordan, how do you feel about this yeah, entire a, continent of there's people? There's a lot going on. Uh, I don't, there's... There's about two minutes that I will not have back, and I don't yeah. feel like I'm smarter. And it's a li- no, you're definitely awesome. Out of As a matter of fact, you were new. awarded no points, and may God have you mercy. New. Listen, hey, we'll be back again next week. Seconds and minutes are precious in radio, and Ian just wasted them on Porky Pie Lie, Porky No Pie Lie. Okay, but now imagine on the Elf drop that we no. have. You want to play that? Yeah. You sit on a throne of lies. How about you now you sit on a throne of, of Porky Pies? We'll think about it, but not really. All right, I, moving I on. Hey, uh, Jordan Collins, would you tell people right now why they need a great roofer? I mean, a, it's a roofer telling people they need a great roofer, but really legitimately, why do they need to go to PMRRoofing.com anytime anything on their roof is not perfect? Because honesty and uh, integrity is the most important thing we do at PMR roofing. And it's really important to have somebody in your corners that way. Uh, not to say there's not a lot of great roofers out there, but there's also a lot there of not, not so a great, lot of great roofers, out uh, there. roofers there that don't have your best interest uh, at stake. So that's one reason. I would echo that. Hey, if you want a roofer that will tell you straight up, Hey, you don't really need anything right now, or you know what? You just need this or that will say, Hey, do not wait on another storm. This needs to happen or you're going to find yourself in big trouble. Those That that roofer is PMR Roofing. Now, you can go to PMRRoofing.com. You can call Jordan, 214-957-0839. If you don't remember any of that, just go to TodgerMoneyTeam.com. Click the radio tab. All the PMR Roofing information is there. PMRRoofing.com is a great website. They're great people taking great care of our people. I would not point you in their direction if I didn't know it to be true. You guys are putting a roof on my place literally probably right now if not in the next couple of days so trust the roofers i trust pmrroofing.com all right let's talk about another big butt that i think uh, a lot of people have been focusing in on uh, to be clear the big butt segment has been quite popular lately and i think parents that may be driving around right now that haven't heard it before are going what are they about to do it's okay it's pg go ahead yeah but that's what we're talking about. That's right. Uh, should I make a long-term investment even though prices are going up right now? Oh, this is a good one. Okay. I was at a child's birthday party last weekend, and I got this question. Uh, I'll, I'll be careful not to say anything too specific. Uh, love golf. Love this certain area where they're starting to develop a lot of homes on a newer golf course. And the question was... Should I buy a lot out there right now, even though I know we won't build on it for another six or seven or eight years? And my answer was, listen, a lot of people are going to tell you that in the current economy, home values could drop a little bit in the next year to 18 months. But I'm going to tell you with 100% confidence that in the next, next six to seven years, almost every day of the next six or seven years, that lot's going to be worth more than it was the previous day. So if you want to build a home out there six or seven years from now and you can afford to do it, I would absolutely buy that lot right now. So my answer to the broader question of should I invest in North Texas real estate for the long term? Absolutely. If you can afford it, if that's something you want to have in your overall wealth building plan, I have almost zero doubt that residential property, both land and the improvements on that land, houses, lake houses, rental homes, Airbnbs, you know, duplexes, threeplexes, whatever, are going seven years from now, you will absolutely wish you had done that in 2023. If you think about selling and you have not checked your home value recently, go to valuethishouse.com and in less than 60 seconds, you can find out what your home would sell for. If maybe you're thinking about renting it out, you can see what it would rent for on there as well. It's going to give you a confidence rating. If you want something more customized, just reach out to us, reply to the email that you'll get, send us a text message uh, that you'll also get. And you can uh, just say custom valuation. And uh, one of our team, could be me, could be John, could be Jeremy. One of our team will reach out to you and we'll have a chat with you about that. Valuethishouse.com. By the way, that's the starting point of just connecting with us on what your home's worth. You might want a full cash offer for your house. We can do that for you. You might want to know what it would rent for. That'll help you with that. You might just be checking because when your kids graduate next year, a year from now, you're going to downsize or upsize or move after that. That's fine. Just connect with us there. You can go to valuethishouse.com or you can go to tatramaniteam.com and there's plenty of buttons and options there. But that's just the very beginning of you getting an automated value for your house or 
getting a full price cash. I mean, getting an automated cash offer or a manual cash offer or finding out what the next steps might look like of selling, renting, investing, keeping it. That's just a good starting place. Valuethishouse.com. We started talking last week, uh, especially for folks that are maybe thinking about getting into the industry. And uh, we were talking about the book that you had wrote, The Five Lives That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career and The Truth That Can Make You Wealthy. We covered the first lie last week. Go check it out on the podcast, the pod. The second lie, let's talk about that. You will be successful if you just work your sphere of influence. Is that what the kids are saying now? They just call it a pod? Yeah, the pod. I mean, you're saving one syllable. Right, but you're efficient. But you're cool. Well, and efficient, like I was with the copywriting slang. So me, slang me slang just segment. rolling around like a big dumb idiot, I'm calling it a podcast. Am I, how old do you're I sound? Lose, you're very old. You're losing losing people. Like that. 70 plus? Yeah, just check it out on the pod. Man, check out the pod, Dallas-Fort Worth Real Estate with Todd. I don't even know if we should put my name on it anymore. I'm so out of date. Can, uh, we, add, can we add my name? No. <laughs> I do appreciate the request, though. All right. I'll so keep asking. The the lie, uh, second of five lies that will ruin your real estate career. By the way, this is a book written to real estate agents um, that, um, what what was the one you asked about? Number two? Yeah. That you can- You will be successful if you just just work your sphere of influence. Yeah. So this is a challenging one because what- Y'all, y'all have heard me gripe about this. Hey, you have an outgoing personality. You can get into real estate. You should, you, you'll do really well. As if the only requirement is to be friendly. Right. It's definitely helpful. This is another one of those. Like, hey, as long as you are friendly, you will make a great living only working with your friends and family. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, but it's people that have worked very hard to build systems to take great care of, to stay in communication with friends and family. But the vast majority of people, we're talking 90 plus percent of the people that try this fail. And the reason they do is because their their inner circle of friends and family that would trust them as a brand new real estate agent to transact their hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of real estate is actually very, very small. It takes time to build trust, grow your expertise, build systems, you know, build a team or connect with the team or connect with a, a brokerage of people that your friends and family and neighbors are going to trust you with hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, at a consistent enough rate for you to make a living and build on that long term. That's why that is a lie. The vast majority of people cannot do that in year one or two or maybe even year three at a consistent enough level to feed their family, you know, and do what it takes to transact at a high level. Now, the problem with our industry is there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people that get into the business every year believing that lie. And the lie is not only harmful to their clients and friends and neighbors, it's actually harmful to them as the new real estate pro. They're well-intentioned, hardworking people, but they don't have enough critical mass to get over that hump of building a brand new business just from friends, family, and neighbors. Now, the industry has also lied to them about leads and lead conversion, but we'll probably talk about that on a show down the road. Uh, have you prepared a book report for today? Ooh, book reports with Todd. What are we calling that? Last oh. week it was like takeaways. But we're, we're working on this segment. Todd's takeaways, Todd's book reports. We'll get there. Uh, I'm reading a great one right now. I'm actually reading a few right now, but- um, Reading with eyes or reading with ears? Both. I've got I've got a couple eye books, uh, physical books that I hold in my, my hands. And I've got quite a few working on the old audiobook scenario. Life stage, man. I'm in the car more. I can listen more. Um, but there's a, there's a great one I'm reading right now that was actually encur- a reread encouraged by my pastor just this last weekend. So um, if you don't know the author, Eric Metaxas, incredibly gifted author. Uh, he does get into some pretty aggressive politics in his radio show, but in his books, it's a pretty humble perspective just on incredible people. So there's a book called Seven Men. There's a book called Seven Women. There's a book called Seven More Men. And then I don't know if he's fully released Seven More Women yet. But basically, instead of reading a biography, dedicated biography on one person, he's there's seven mini biographies, one seventh of a biography in these books. And, and look, if you're looking for something encouraging in your life, these books are awesome. They're books about men and women who gave their life away to causes that are impactful on our entire culture, like eradicating slavery. Um, some of them are faith oriented towards the, you know, towards the church, towards Christianity. Others of them are about issues like slavery uh, or freedom 
uh, or you know the new world versus the old world. Some really, 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 really cool stuff. And, and the, the the takeaway I would leave you with is if if you feel like people in power are selfish dirt bags that actually don't care about you. Many days I agree with you. Many it's really discouraging to look at the leaders in our world right now and go, I'm fully supportive of that person. I think he or she is great and they have my best interest at heart. If you're looking for people that have run the race the run the race well, whose lives have stood for something and can give you hope that your life could stand for something or that the world we're leaving to our children could be better, go read seven men, seven women, seven more men or seven more women from Eric Metaxas. My takeaway this week, um, being reminded about Martin Luther and his life being absolutely threatened by the church and the Pope and the politicians of his day and just saying, nope, I'm going to stand for something that is right for the people and that is true and being willing to be excommunicated, uh, basically convicted, you know, with, with, uh, execution, uh, and still stand for what matters. That's my encouragement. Um, that people like that do still exist. Many of them have no interest in politics uh, or formal forms of leadership, but they're willing to put their lives on the line for us. That's the kind of person I want to be. That's my takeaway. That's my book report for the week. That exact one comes out of seven more men. Um, You're pointing at me. What do you want me to do? Tell them about PMR. PMR Roofing. One more time. I got Jordan Collins sitting right next to me. Let's unmute the mic. Jordan, if I found out right now, oh, shoot, I need a roofer. Who do I call? At what phone number? Yeah, you can call our office at 469-409-ROOF, R-O-O-F. Uh, you can always call or text me as well, and then I will get you uh, taken care of with the right people. 469-409-ROOF or ROOF, however you want to pronounce it, it's R-O-O-F. Uh, that's 469-409-ROOF. Ask for Jordan specifically. Say, hey, I'm calling for Jordan. I heard him on the radio show. Todd Tremonti sent me. I need Jordan Collins. That's my guy. I got a roof situation. Uh, you can also go to PMRRoofing.com at somewhere throughout the process. Just tell them you're looking for Jordan and Todd sent you. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate right now, just go to ToddTremontiTeam.com. We'll get you squared away. Thanks for listening in. Check out the podcast, Dallas Fort Worth Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, or check out the pod, DFW Real Estate with Todd Tremonti.